I was just a guest on the Grass Fed Girls YouTube channel. I don't know if you could call it a podcast, but she interviewed me, Caitlin Week, someone I've known about for, for many years when I learned about the uh, farm to table movement. And, you know, she's, she's part of that. And she's embracing a carnivore uh, diet for the sake of reversing various uh, health issues and weight loss. And during the interview, which should air next week, I'll, I'll send you the link. Um, she asked about the fat acceptance movement. I used to be very vocal about um, being part of the health at every size movement uh, and the body positivity movement and the fat acceptance movement. And I've strayed away from that mostly because I was not feeling well. I wasn't doing well with that. Look, I, I made a video recently about loving thy neighbor as thyself and that every world religion says that in its own way to, to love people, to be kind to people, but have, you know, love yourself first. You're not pouring from an empty cup. If other people are worthy, then whatever's worthy about them, it must be true about you. So love thy neighbor as thyself is important. So I needed the body positivity and fat acceptance movement at one time because I despised myself and mostly because I was overweight. It's not a terrible thing to hate yourself for your body. That's horrible. If I'm going to dislike myself, let it be because I'm dishonest or, or mean or not a good friend, whatever. But because I don't fit some sort of beauty standard that should certainly not be anyone's measure of worthiness. You're worthy and lovable and a delight and a necessity on this planet, no matter what size you are. And in that sense, yes, I care about fat acceptance, body positivity, and things like that. Because you have to love yourself where you are or it won't work. You'll just be punishing yourself into a, uh, into some sort of conformity to fit a beauty standard and not even to get healthy, but to just, you know, have, have that currency in society that you're thin and whatever you look a certain way. But I was not happy having lost over 140 pounds and staying at a weight loss plateau for over 10 years that I didn't feel good. I didn't feel well. I was not thriving. Depression was creeping back in pain in my body, lethargy, super high blood sugars, disinterest in movement. Now this won't be true for everyone. So if you're in body positivity and you're just consistently happy and active and you just, I don't care. I'm fat and I'm living life. This video is not for you. And I might not be for you because I'm talking about how unhappy and unhealthy I was staying at between 240 and 250 for over 10 years. Yes. 240 and 50 pounds. Yes. This is, I know it's, it's a before picture for many people. My before picture was about 400 pounds. And she says, well, what changed? Why, why did you change your mind? Because I didn't feel, and nobody gets to talk me out of the truth of my experience. And when I learn lessons, I talk about them. I think it helps people. And then you can accept or reject, take what you like. It's a big salad bar of life. It's a big salad bar of wisdom. You take the wisdom you like. Say, mm -mm, you don't want that? Give it away. And that's what I offer. Stories about myself and what worked for me that might work for you because your choices are only as good as your options. So I think it helps to heal it here, a variety of opinions and experiences. So how do I feel about myself now? Whatever body I'm in, I'm going to wear nice clothes and look as nice as possible and be happy and walk into a room with confidence. It doesn't have to be, I endorse myself 
staying this weight for another 10 years. Wanting to be lighter, have lower blood sugar and weigh fewer pounds so as not to impact my body and continue to injure myself over and over. Yeah, so I would like to lose weight and I'm in the process of doing that. Doesn't mean I have to hate myself where I'm at or that you have to do what I do. Your choices are only as good as your options. Listening to other people's experiences opens up your options and I encourage you to do so. So here I am. I will uh, give you the, the grass fed girls um, channel or just go there now. She's lovely. She talks about really interesting stuff. Uh, she's a holistic nutritionist and she's, she's just a really great interviewer and has really good guests like subscribe, leave a comment, share my video. I will be back tomorrow because I said I would be and I keep my word and that's part of being healthy is to keep one's word. Be well.